and good morning people welcome back to Jacoon 2 we're having a tour around water tour we're on number six out of seven I do know now unfortunately because I went out to check something uh, in the last forest that the beast I want is not in this style uh, in this forest uh, in the water tour which is unfortunate but it's okay it's not the priority um, seed beast as uh, Tissue light is so I am not too put out, but it is unfortunate. But let's go actually look around Water Tour uh, 6. And to be honest, there's one new enemy here, however, the other two are the same. So we've still got these uh, comedian style enemies and the MP killers. So I think what I'm going to do is just continue and uh, continue around and I will meet you in the fight with the new beast or just before it it's because well we know what these do there we are yeah these are actually in my opinion the most dangerous thing in this forest. There are three of them. They are Alcos, so they are fast. And they have life attack style. Actually, I've. Mm, to, yeah, they have the life attack. Life Crash, so they do both HP and MP damage. Unlike the Nars that do the MP damage, these can actually hurt you as well. And they're fairly strong, as you can definitely, definitely see there. So yeah, this I uh, consider probably the most dangerous encounter. Everything else uh, up until now hasn't exactly been life-threatening, you could say. But you can definitely see what these can do here. Luckily, the best thing about it is that they really don't drain it. They only destroy both HP and MP. If they drained it as well, things could get a little bit tougher. because then they'd be able to actually spam it forever. In this uh, case, he's ne uh, this beast is now out of mana, so 
All we can do is attack. Of course, 39 is a base. Isn't too bad, I suppose. It's probably one of the better hitting water attackers. But there should be another group of those. I've bl when I came through here last time, there was two groups. So, yeah, fun. Uh, and the Seed Beast should be here as well. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, I do believe I have killed all of the beasts. Yeah, there were two groups of those alcos. Had a little bit of trouble with them. Um, they do give a lot of experience though. 550 per, and there's 300, so I've got a total of 1,650. Not bad. But there's only two groups, and this is the only island that they actually appear on. So I wouldn't say it's a reliable source of uh, experience if you're just grinding up levels. Because you have to get down this far, you have to then fight them, and then do it over again. So, yeah. Speaking of the Seed Beast though... Jumped me. This should be the Fangbone, I believe it's called. Yeah. This is our life attack sea beast. Yeah, I wouldn't mess around with that amount of uh, damage. Luckily, this is one beast. So Barion will last likely two turns with it. Which should give me enough time to do... Yeah, there it goes. A little bit of damage. Really, I should have uh, put uh, done the barrier, then did the heal, then did the other barrier for when it broke the second one, uh, the first one, and then had two chances here. But uh, oh well. That would be the best way to avoid taking too much damage. So, the Fangbone Cocoon. I believe that comes up with, uh, comes with a guard type attack. Uh, guard type... Uh... No, it comes with Resurrect, so it's got a chance of Resurrecting after being downed. It's okay, but do you really want to be going down in the first place? Mugwort, that can stay there. It might be a Calibus herb. But uh, we'll just assume it's a Mugwort. Ah, and there's our key spawn. Not a whole lot in this place. Uh, the seed beast is, as far as I know, the only real thing. Uh, 
that one there has a healing fountain, if I remember correctly. And that's it. So not a very large area, not a very... Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's got a mugwort. Yeah. I'm actually going to use that. So, yeah, nothing really too special about this one. Again, it's not really the best place for just saying, I'm going to go and defeat those, those uh, beasts for experience because of the route you have to go to actually get to it. As you can see though, Water Tour 7 does have a boss. That is the thing I went to, forward to check so I do know where it is and no we won't be fighting it on this particular um, run through. I think I'm going to do it on the second because there's not a whole lot in these islands and getting down to the lower floors would be best. Uh, getting down to the next forests as soon as possible would be best. I don't need experience on this team. Let's face it, I'm, if I'm going to merge it's going to be one, uh, once more and I'm going to leave it on the sixth merge. I'm not going, they're just going to gain levels up until max and then they're going to be pretty much left at that. Six is the really the maximum amount of merges I will likely do on any given beast. Oh, hello. Yeah, but we've got these uh, MP killers and Yagilunas, uh, Yagiluna cha chameleons. That again is all that's on this level. So beast diversity, not one of the strongest points at the moment.
Okay then, um, looks like we've cleared the area, and this is the princess find, which we will likely never go through. Because it's the last one of the area. But let's jump into some mocha vines. I'm not expecting anything useful in the slightest, unfortunately. Because, well, lovely gem, okay, that's useful. Money. There's, there's very unlikely to be any beast hunter for metal fights here. Very unlikely to be any NPC encounters. It's just the it level with the boss on. And that usually takes precedence over most other things. It does have a uh, healing fountain for your fight against the boss, which will be upcoming. It is actually in that ogre vine over there, so we will be seeing it, and it is a very familiar face. Just not this run through. And I can't carry any more items. Yeah, let's swap out that uh, 5 for hopefully a Calisbass Serp. There was a few things that I left. Uh, that was the... This one was the Mel's Elixir, yeah. I know it might sound silly that I'm dropping a twill mugwort for another one. But if I can get a calibre serp that sells for free at either two hundred or three hundred. Tendy hub, that will do just fine. So let's head back. I'm likely going to be selling most of the stuff in my inventory. Just because I don't need a whole lot now. Yeah, so 10 D herbs sell for 200, Calabas for 300. And I am just going to sell them because fully res resurrect beast is nice, but I'd rather them not go down in the first place. I am going to keep one HP back plus plus book and one MP pl back plus plus book because both of those could be useful in a pinch. But healing books, I've got Salamnis. Resurrect books, don't really need them. And I'm going to keep, I am going to keep one full heal book for emergencies. Shield Bibles, just going to sell them. As well as the cover book. So these three are likely going to be and possibly an inciting book when I pick one up. Those, These three and that are likely going to be the only things I'm going to carry in my bag. So I've got enough space to pick up as much as possible and sell it. I'm going to do a bit of inventory maintenance on my warehouse as well just to sell a few things. I'm going to keep the Mel's Elixir 7s because there might be a uh, quest for selling them which will give me money. So I'm going to keep those and 
same with the tendy powders pretty much any all these I'm going to keep these items though I have used a few that I had I think I'm going to wait until I actually need to use them because I will be putting them into my beasts that I'm raising the eggs I'm going to keep, hellfire boots I'm going to keep because I need those for item merges if I need anything I need to check that and I really don't have a whole lot in my stash anymore oh well let's head to the lounge and yeah develop new product Birdman is wanting a drag wing to upgrade the shop again I cannot remember what he actually puts into the shop this time the reward of one yarn though um, really I do need to do it but it, since it's in the fire forest I will be waiting one more uh, uh, forest because I believe I'm going to go into the earth forest next then I'm not too sure if it's going to be fire or wind one thing that does sometimes occur now um, is we get special encounters in the lounge and special jobs now that get the game is over for anything about divine so we'll be going back there in just a moment at least hopefully for the encounter fangbone life crash and resurrect so half chance of resurrection and the most important one the bone Tishalite. Recover MP, large. All allies, it costs a heck of a lot at 81. However, you should, at least at 5 merges, maybe 6, if you're going that high, uh, get that back. I get my, uh, I get the MP I use on Tisha, uh, Tishius back. I should be able to do the same with Tishalite. It also comes with HP up one, which isn't exactly bad, to be honest, especially on a water beast, which generally have a oh, uh, low um, HP stat. So 30 might be a little bit better than one of the percentages. It's likely not going to be but it isn't too bad how are my uh, level f uh, free merge beasts doing? levels 13 and 14, excellent getting closer to that fourth merge uh, once I've merged them four times I'm going to be actively leveling them up to get them up to the fifth merge and then they will become my team I'm hoping I get my last beast before that happens as well though but I was just thinking how much actually do I need let's get a typical beast amount so Let's go 5,845. Luckily I have my uh, calculator with me. That amount is multiplied by 3 for every merge. So on the second merge it's 17,000. Then 52,000. Four merges is 157,000. 
So at the end of five merges, is that correct? Um, so that's one merge, two, three, four. So the, at the end of five merges, to get to level 20, I need 1,420,335 uh, experience. I don't know about you, but that's a heck of a long way. <laughs> this is why I don't generally merge my creatures more than five times. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because that's definitely the amount for one merge for level 20. Six merges is what? Oh, 4,261,005 experience. At 1,000 a pop, if uh, for each fight, that's a good 4,261 fights. I don't know about you, but I certainly couldn't go through that many fights. Granted, going from 1 to 15 is generally easier than going from 15 to 20. But it's still a very long, long struggle to get that far. Let's go and see if this person turns up in the lounge. Yep, there she is. It's Cure. Yeah, NPCs now have a chance of appearing in the lounge. They're actually more common than you might think. So we're going to see everyone turn up here at least some point, so you can interact with them. Cure. I'm doing great! <laughs> Excellent! It's fun going to the forest. I feel so great. I'd like to share it with you, Kahu. I think I'll be able to do pretty good in the next tournament. Yeah. So, feel free to interact with them. The other thing that they do, and hasn't shown up on the board yet because uh, develop new product is there for this one is they also do give out quests they, they they do give out jobs I am especially wanting cures because she will give me the last egg hopefully that I need which is the Drakic egg it's also the one I'm wanting for the team this as my eighth beast on the amulet. I've got seven in waiting. The Drakic will be the eighth. It is the only way to get that beast. You cannot get it through item merging. You cannot get it through finding it in the forest. You cannot buy it. You cannot do anything to get it except as a job reward from a job given specifically by Cure. So I'm hoping to find that very, very quickly. Hey, in your recent battles, was there anyone you thought was strong? There is this girl, Cure. Don't you know her? She's pretty darn strong. She's good at using beasts and is a natural at moving them. 
It's like she can talk to them. Well, sort of. Maybe a friend, more like Frey. She does know about beasts, though. And you know, her looks, too. I couldn't look straight at her. Sir, you rascal, you. Don't put me on. You can pick your own opponents, right? Oh, no. I, I didn't mean that. It's not like that. Maybe. She does have a nice fighting style, though. Ah, how lovely. Even though I think it's bad, I pick her as an opponent. Okay. But yeah, I, I really want that uh, beast as quickly as possible. So, what I'm needing to do is possibly just jumping into a forest, jumping out, and well, seeing if it's appearing. Because once you jump into a forest and then come back, the jobs do change. So I think I'm going to go and do that for a bit. Because the quicker I get the uh, beast, the quicker I can start to raising it. It is likely though that the, be uh, the beasts I've got on my amulet right now will be with me for probably the first rotation of the new forests. So the fifth tier of the forests to show them off and then I will be switching over to my new team something like that I believe so something to look forward to my team will be changing it's going to be slightly different not a whole lot but uh, slightly different but next time I'll have myself ready and we'll jump into the uh, forest let's go and catch up with the sweet knights until then, have a wonderful day, have lots of fun, goodbye.